Okay guys, we're back. Episode 20 of the Don't Starve Survive a Guide to Winter from 3FG. We actually have beaten winter. We have done it. It is day 37, and now what we're going to do is we are going to prep for the attack. Because we are going to go and um, see if we can defeat the chess monsters or the gear monsters and uh, collect all the spoils from that. Um, gear monsters are going to give you all the gears you need in order to make uh, ice boxes and things like that. See, there you are. All the bunnies are brown. No more winter. Hooray for us. And, well, and the fact that it's orange and raining, I guess that's kind of a good indication as well. But, um, yeah, so I'm just going to get myself a little organized here. And then once we get everything um, nice and uh, put into place... We're going to go on a little hunt, and we are going to find those gear guys and uh, destroy them. Sorry, I'm just thinking here. Okay. Okay. Let's, uh, let's do this. Let's go find these guys. Okay, so they're not too far from us. They're just a little ways down. There they are. We circled around them way earlier on in the game. Let's go defeat us some gear monsters. Okay, so I forgot something real quick. One second. I needed to shave my beard. Shaving your beard is important for sanity. And uh, and I totally forgot about that. Once you break out of winter, you don't need the beard anymore. And uh, it's going to help with sanity. So I'm going to store it away. But later on, beard, the beard hair is going to be great because you can make a meat effigy. And that's going to be a great replacement for respawn stones. So just keep that in mind for the future. I'm not going to be building one in this series. But... Uh, just remember that for the future. Um, totally worth it. Remember to do that. Okay, so let's go defeat some gear monsters. There we go. Alright, we're getting close here. Get some rot, why not? That rhymed. In time. Okay. So, let's get ourselves suited up. We're gonna drop our, uh, drop our stuff a little bit further away from, from, okay, actually, yeah, we need to grab our, our important things first. There we go. Okay, cool. So we're suited up with our helmet and our uh, and our chest. So the principle of this now, guys, is what we're going to do is we're going to use this little rhino dude, or the knight, in order to destroy everything. This guy is like a giant tank that just breaks through everything. And he's going to break through all the trees. He's gonna, And basically, he leaves all the elements behind all the logs all the marble all even the enemies see there it is he just killed one of the bishops right off the bat so there's two gears ready to go and if you can aim him just right then he will break everything for you and that's what we're going to try and do here it may take a little time but um oh no okay well in the process he killed chester so that kind of sucks so next time um or should I say, when you guys do it, drop Chester off somewhere else or leave him at your base. Um, but that's okay. He's going to come back, and we didn't have anything important in him, so we'll survive. Okay. Come on, Knight. Let's go. Boom. There he is. So so this is what we want to do. I mean, thankfully we had our armor on, so his hit didn't give us too much damage. But um, 
we want him to just destroy everything, and I mean everything. We want him to hit all the pillars and all the and all the trees and everything. Boom! There it is. Nice. Love it. Gotta love that marble. Boom. Okay, so um, and the reason why we want him to destroy these like little marble trees and um, weird fluffy ball tree things is because um, unless I'm mistaken, you can't destroy them with conventional weapons like axes and hammers and things like that. They're solid, and so if you really want that the material from that stuff, then you gotta use this knight. Um, really handy. You just gotta be thrifty on how you kinda maneuver yourself when he's charging at you. So, let's see if we can get him to charge at this uh, statue here. Nope, missed it. Come on, guy. You got this. Ah, uh, once you start feeling... Oh, boy. Okay, so we're we're running into night here. Let's uh, pull out a torch. Okay, we're running out of percentage here, so we got to figure something out. Probably get away from him just a little ways because I don't want him attacking me in the night. Let's make a fly. Oh, okay. oh boy, that was close. Yeah, this guy's not going to stop. He... Once he starts on a rampage, unless you're really far away from him, he doesn't go to sleep. He just keeps charging through stuff. So let's just ride out the night here a bit. And then once uh, once daylight comes, we'll continue the process. Okay. So we'll be safe here for a while. I don't think this guy's going to be able to follow me this far out. I think he's probably lost interest already and he's stomping around somewhere else. Oh, my stomach. Yeah, I know. Okay, here we go. And come on, come on, daylight. There we go. Okay. So let's go repeat the process. We want this guy to break through everything before we kill him. So that's basically going to be the minimal attack that you are going to do, is you're going to have to find a way to destroy him, which shouldn't be too hard. I've beaten him a few times before. Um, but we do want to make sure that we... Uh, that we get him to destroy everything else first. Okay, here we go. Oh boy, we're playing chicken here. Come on, that's it. Yes, oh, come on, guy. Come on, oh. You already lost interest already? Come on. This is the tricky part, trying to get him to angle it right. Hey, well, at least he broke that statue. Come on. Boom, there it is. Yes! Now we're starting to get it. Come on. Oh, he just stopped. Oh, okay, cool. There we go. Okay, so these bishops are brutal. They shoot little beams at you, and they almost never miss. So you want to be really... You really want to make sure they, they... Oh, man, so close. Come on, guy. You're running into a corner here. Don't make yourself look, look foolish. Oh, see what I mean? The, their beams almost never miss. No, stop it. Stop chasing me. No, oh man. I'll tell you, if we did not have this armor on, we would be dead by now. Hands down. This armor is really helping us. Okay, I'm, I'm tired of this guy shooting me, so. And the rhino dude isn't isn't doing any anything good, so. Okay, here we go. Just a few more pieces to break, and I think we can go after them. 
Nice. Come on, you got this. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Come on, we're almost done here. And then I will let you die. Okay, what else do we got going on here? Anything else? Anything else at all? Well, okay, so it's looking like we've cleared everything here. So, yeah, I need to eat something before I uh, keel over and die. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to attack him. Oh boy. This is probably the hard part of the whole process is, is killing him in the end. And it's not really that hard either. You just kind of kind of have to dodge him as best as you can. And then go behind him. There we go. Come on. Nice. And there it is. And that's how you collect your gears. So, the next process after this is really just, uh, you know, let's grab our backpack and things like that. And and you just start digging everything up. You know, um, collect all the marble and um, all the gears and the gems and everything. And then pull out your pitchfork and start digging up the ground. Because now you can use that around your base. You can use the carpeting to give your base kind of a stylized look. And you can... Uh, and you can start digging up the uh, marble, which we will do right now. So we're just going to go around and collect everything. By the way, don't pick those evil flowers. They decrease your sanity, and that was a total accident on my part. go. Look at all this wood laying around. This is awesome. Who needs to chop down wood when you have your own personal private bulldozer? Hey, Chester's back. Cool. Just in time, too. This is great. little circle -y thing in the center you can't destroy I don't know what it is and uh, and all I know is it doesn't get destroyed I don't know why but it just doesn't so that's the one thing that's definitely gonna stay there store you away let's make ourselves a pitchfork because we forgot it And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, there's not much else to this. Um, you just collect all the spoils and just start digging up everything um, with your pitchfork. Uh, so you can uh, you can start decorating your base. And once you lay down the lay down your your uh, your marble and so that oh, it's getting dark. Okay. Oh, come on. Come on now. Don't want to die. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, like I said, that's pretty much it. Uh, just start digging stuff up and uh, laying it down at your base, and that will prevent, you know, those uh, meat meat plants and whatnot from spawning in your area and wrecking ha wreaking havoc and whatnot. But again, I want to say thank you so much for following along with this series. It's been a while and a slow process, but we made it. And I hope this helps you guys out. Um, I know it was fun for me. I hope it was fun for you. And stay tuned for the new DLC that I'm going to be putting up soon for Reign of Giants. Um, hopefully that will be a blast as well. Again, thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching the 3FG Don't Starve Survivor Guide to Winter. Bye.